Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So tomorrow will mark the first anniversary of the late Queen Elizabeth's death, and the royal family will undoubtedly be taking some time to reflect on their own precious memories of the former monarch, who reigned for Britain for 70 years. However, it appears that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not get the opportunity to reminisce together, as he will most likely still be in the UK, while the 42-year-old Duchess stays behind in California. The Duke is attending a charity award ceremony in London tonight, before flying out to Germany for the Invictus Games, which begin on September 9. The couple just happened to be in the UK together this time last year, when Her Majesty entered her final hours, and they extended their stay in Britain to attend ceremonies and her state funeral. The Queen peacefully passed away at Balmoral on September 8 last year at age 96, the Mirror reports. Her sad death came just days after Meghan's controversial interview with US Magazine, the cut about her family life in California after stepping down from royal duties. In the interview, she disclosed that she did not have to sign a NDA when she and Prince Harry made their dramatic exit from the royal family in 2020. She also revealed that she had kept a journal during her time as a member of the firm at Frogmore Cottage and had discovered it when she returned to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations last summer. She tellingly said, It's interesting, I've never had to sign anything that restricts me from talking. I can talk about my whole experience and make a choice not to. When asked by the interviewer why she hasn't opened up to anyone about her true experience, Megan replied that she was still healing. She continued, I think forgiveness is really important. It takes a lot more energy to not forgive, but it takes a lot of effort to forgive. I've really made an active effort, especially knowing that I can say anything. However, speaking at the time on True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat, Sunday Times royal editor Roya Nika said Meghan had issued thinly veiled threats and hinted that a memoir could be on the cards in the future. She explained, The thinly veiled threats that came in, Meghan's interview with the cut, I think, she probably hopes it does feel threatening to the royal family. But I think there's a lot of eye rolling going, we're used to this by now. But that phrase, I have a lot to say until I don't, and I've never signed anything that restricts me from talking. There was a very strong inference there. And of course, the reminder that she keeps a journal and her revelation that, when we came back to Windsor, to Frogmore Cottage for the Jubilee, I rediscovered my journal that I'd left there. I was astonished to discover that she had left a highly private diary behind in Windsor rather than taking it back. She's mentioned a couple of times in the last year or two that she kept a journal, and I think there is a very strong inference that Meghan could write her own memoir. Meanwhile, Prince Harry is set to make a fleeting trip back to his home country to attend the Wellchild Awards in London tonight. He will then be jet-setting off to Germany for the Invictus Games less than 48 hours later, which is a week-long event that will commence on September 9. Despite being back in the UK at not only the same time as both his father King Charles and his brother Prince William, but also on the Queen's anniversary, he will not be seeing either of them during his visit. Insiders confirm that neither the King nor Prince of Wales have plans to see the Duke, while he has no intention of visiting them. A source claims Harry's relationship with his family remains firmly rooted at rock bottom following his harsh criticism of them both and other royal family members in his explosive memoir spare. The insider added, while some may suggest it would be good order for the family to settle their differences, perhaps even in the late Queen's memory, things are a long way off. Harry is believed to have only been in the same room as his father and brother once this year, and that was during the King's coronation on May 6. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.